So I've been thinking. So I wonder what happens if you bypass the boost solenoid and run the wastegates directly off the charge pipe. That's kind of strange. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. I know, it sounds kind of silly, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen, but I'm curious because there is a project that I might ensue if the results happen the way I expect them to. But I do wanna see exactly where the boost goes and how quickly it ramps up and how far it goes after I make the change. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move some things around in there and then we'll uh, get in the car and see what happens. So this is pretty simple to do. This is the line that goes down to the waste gates. I'm just gonna take that off there. Actually, I'll take that, move it over there. And I can lift this up. Well, yeah, come on, come on. Oh, there it goes, pull that off there. And let's see, I'm gonna wedge the camera down in here. And, uh, yeah, come on. Good Lord, I can't even get this off. There it goes, Whew, that was really on there. Stick it directly to the charge pipe there. Put the clamp on so it don't blow off. And... All right, we are ready to roll and hopefully not blow anything up. So, <laughs> but that's it. Oh, oh, that's just awful. That's been baking in the sun too. I just wonder if anything's gonna happen when I start it up. I doubt it, cause the car ain't gonna know any better, I guess. But uh, we'll see. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is turn my handy dandy X4 on and see what's going on here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything crazy. Car is warm, so uh, fear not when I start revving it. Yeah, without a load, nothing looks like it's changing in terms of boost. So, be curious to know what happens. I'm gonna stick the GoPro on the side of the window there using the uh, suction cup mount, and that way the video shows what the X4 is seeing. And uh, I'm curious to know. Let's find out. There is a view of everything. Should be able to see all the important stuff uh, you need, mainly this one right here we're gonna watch, boost. Uh, and, course fuel pressure and these bottom ones obviously for air fuel and uh, yeah let's see what happens just so I have more control over the load I'm gonna lock the car into uh, sport mode so I can hold these gears so the car seems to load up normally I'm kind of I'm really hesitant on how I get on this. Actually. Looks like I only got a 5 PSI boost. Yeah, that's only 5 PSI of boost. I honestly thought the boost pressure is what made the diaphragms in the wastegates change. Yeah, five PSI, it's, so yeah, I guess that's wastegate pressure. I mean, that's, I honestly thought it was gonna happen the other way around. I thought bypassing that uh, solenoid is what's gonna give me all the boost, but no, that's not the case. Yeah, I guess call me stupid. Now the only other thing I can think of is because the, tr uh, the actual solenoid's disconnected, the car may know that. If the wastegates are not electronically controlled, how does it know unless it's venting boost with the um, blow-off valves? I really didn't think that was gonna happen. All right, so I figured it out. It's not the boost that you need, you need vacuum. So I disconnect the line from the air inlet tube 
and plugged it straight onto it, plugged the wastegate line straight onto that. Now it looks like I get a lot more boost than five PSI. So uh, let's take a gander at the X4 here, see what happens. So from my little tiny bit of testing, I noticed I have way more boost. The turbos definitely sound like they are blowing off a lot more steam when I let out of the throttle. So it's uh, kind of interesting. Let's roll in here and see what happens. Oh, all right. I really haven't went much over like probably 30% throttle. I'm kind of afraid to for obvious reasons. Okay, so that's strange. I get 13 PSI. It holds pretty steady there, but it's not going past it, it doesn't seem. So the wastegates are venting. I mean, I guess they're, because the, the commanded boost level is exceeding are the boost levels exceeding the command level so you hear the wastegates venting hard uh, not the wastegates the blow-off valves so huh interesting so they are there being an extra form of protection controlling the uh the boost Yeah, I mean, at full throttle there, it's only going, I mean, albeit I'm not super high RPM, but it is only going to 14, 15 PSI, which is my, the, the tunes commanded boost level. And it looks like my uh, air fuels are looking as they normally would. So that's pretty cool, I guess. The wastegates are definitely blowing off a lot harder. That's interesting. Now, I really want to know, but I'm afraid to do it, is what happens at full throttle? Like, is it, is it going to spike? How hard is it going to spike? And how quickly will it recover to a normal, to the commanded boost level? I mean, just kind of, just kind of rolling in it, it doesn't really, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't spike hard. I'm giving a nice little stab here, not full throttle, but mo you know, nice high load. Okay, so it spiked the 17. That's still, that's still fine. 17 is still fine because it looks like my air fuels were still good. Yeah, I mean 0.83. Like I said, normally it's 0.82 at full throttle, 14, 15. PSI boost. So now here comes the big question. What happens on like a dig or something like that? How, when the load's really high like that, I wonder what happens. I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, so this is gonna be the glory run here. I'm just gonna stab it. I'm gonna let it shift in second gear. And if I see anything crazy, I'm letting out. So otherwise this is full throttle from a dead stop. So it had a couple spikes, but it was starting to control the boost via the wastegates. But let me tell you what, it actually boogies a little bit better now. <laughs> um, believe it or not. That's kind of strange. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. There was, I was not expecting that at all. So there's one more thing I'm gonna do just to see. Uh, going to get up to about 20 or so mile an hour and then I'm gonna punch it because then it'll kick it down in the first gear and that's usually a pretty fun thing to do in this car because it just gets up and goes so I'm gonna do that and see what happens I'm doing about 20 now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stab it and see what happens all right so the car did not like that 
um, it hit like 17 and I guess it was starting uh, it wouldn't the roll back everything because it was exceeding the command boost and I felt it kind of like uh, I felt it kind of shudder a little bit everything looked fine fuel trims look fine so I don't think that was anything I need to worry about in terms of you know lean or anything but it was uh, it was something the car did not like so real quick I'm gonna check um, the uh, see if there's any codes that were thrown during this whole thing I just want to see since uh, you're operating the vehicle against what it wants to do and no Nothing, uh, no codes were thrown in that short little drive at least, so nothing crazy enough to really upset the car, make it think it's dying. Uh, so yeah, it's all good. I mean, it's definitely not something I would recommend doing. Uh, it seems to, I mean, the way these cars are, the it's gonna control boost one way or another. The only way I could see this not interfering in terms of controlling boost is if you were running, um, you know, vacuum controlled blow off valves rather than the electronic ones that's on a car. That's kind of the benefit to those really. It kind of shows you um, how much this car really tries to protect and how much it really, you know, to keep everything good. It's really crazy how uh, these systems are. It's kind of interesting to uh, see that working in, in action. So it's pretty cool. It was uh, interesting uh, test there to see what happens. I was unsure if the car was really going to try to compensate. I'm glad it did. Everything looks like it stayed nice and healthy. Um, I'm not really so sure that it was going to be any like faster. Like I said, I could see it spiking at 17 or so, but I, it feels like that you could feel like the car fighting itself because I guess it wants to bring itself back down to command it boost. I guess it's making adjustments in a closed loop because it's full throttle when the map is definitely meant to be something different. So I guess without actually making adjustments in the tune, you're not gonna be able to get more boosts out of this, which is what I thought, but that's why I wanted to test this. Um, because if it did, if I was able to get more usable boost by fooling the car, uh, then I had some ideas that I was going to run with to see if I can make it follow through. But seeing as the car is gonna control boost no matter what, to reach its target, its command at boost level, it will not work. So this test is successful. I did not blow my car up, I got the data I wanted, and because it's not gonna do what I want to do, I get to save money. That makes a happy Kirk. I know this wasn't really a super informal video. Um, if anything, hopefully it was entertaining, watching me doing stupid stuff to my car that could have potentially blown it up. But uh, if you ever wanted to know what happened if you bypassed your boost solenoid, uh, I uh, figured it out for you. That way you don't have to. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you wanna see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for the next video.